guys. Um, it's Monday, starting a new week, and um, let's see. Today, um, it's only nine o'clock, so I haven't um, done much except for make myself some protein pancakes and drink some coffee. I got into my workout clothes, so I'm that one step closer to getting that done. I haven't taken a rest day in a really long time. Um, but honestly, I haven't. I know I rest days I feel like to me come when I'm like I look forward to those rest days and I'm not like I, I feel like I really want to work out even if it's just like a little Pilates workout or something like that maybe like an active rest day I don't know I feel like complete rest days to me are not something that I want right now in my life I just feel like Lately, I've just been really on like a workout kick, and so I've really been trying to take advantage of that because sometimes that doesn't really um, happen often. I feel like there's I go through a lot of stages where I'm just like over it and I don't want to do it anymore. But lately, I've just been feeling very motivated. Um, I I don't know. I feel more motivated when I get into fall winter. I have always been like this than I am when I go into summer. It's so like spring and summer, like bikini season. I get into these habits of, well, at least when I was like younger and like growing up and stuff, I would, um, I overeat during the holidays and I like have really bad food habits, especially when it comes to winter with just like not caring and wearing big sweaters and leggings and just not giving two shits about anything. And sorry for my language, but it's true. And just feeling terrible, like just not even about myself, just physically, just like not having any energy and especially with like Halloween and Thanksgiving and you know, my birthday, my birthday really starts off the whole thing. My birthday and then Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year, Haley's birthday. It's just like all of these things and Valentine's Day, like every single holiday leading up to that is just like, ugh. And so I feel like since I started on this health journey, I get so excited when it comes to this time of the year because it's like more motivation for me to be just like in the best shape ever and just feel super good about myself and not feel like when I'm wearing jeans that I feel like suffocating, but I feel very comfortable. Um, I don't know. There's something to be said about wearing jeans, um, like skinny jeans and a Henley top and feeling comfortable in it because that's like the most revealing thing I, I feel like to me than wearing shorts and a tank top. Is that weird? I don't know. But I don't know how I got into this but subject but when I, I think it was being motivated about working out but um, so that's basically kind of how I'm feeling right now is I just feel very motivated when it comes to fall and winter because it's just that much more motivation for me to take care of myself and not let myself go and feel comfortable and good about myself. Secondly, I have, I think, decided, I posted this a while ago. My face is so shiny right now because I put teacher oil on it this morning. Sorry. I posted about this a while ago on my Instagram and I'm going to make this short because this clip is already getting really long, but um, I posted about possibly cutting my hair and I put to, uh, toasted posted different pictures and like um asked you guys what you thought I should do and all this stuff and you know I was thinking maybe if I wanted to do anything I'd do bangs and I don't know so I think actually after all that said and done I think all I want to do is change the color just because um I feel like I'd really regret it if I cut all of it off um so one maybe one and a half inches off the bottom just to get like these spare like dead things off like that is nothing right there like that that's just dead that's dead hair um and then I really want to get like um it's so really like the look right now where it's like it's a deep side part and it's like all on one side this look it looks terrible right now but um mainly because my hair is so long so it's just like flat but I want to get shorter layers like on the sides that way they'll like frame my face a little bit more and then have a lot more body Katrina from tone it up I have always been in love with her color and I feel like I have the same base color as her and so I feel like I kind of want to start transitioning a little bit more like dirty dirty blonde um, sandy blonde color into my hair 
um, just to kind of give it a little bit more dimension because right now it's literally just one color. These are just these thoughts that I've had Monday morning. Always having all these thoughts after coffee, just like really wanting to conquer the world. But um, anyway, so Elvis is working. I don't know when he's going to be back, but hopefully he'll be back. I think it's just a short morning that he's working. So um, he'll be back pretty soon. I'm going to take Blue on a walk and then come back, exercise, and then we'll have the rest of the day to do random stuff that we need to get done. I think I want to go get um, a few fall decorations at Home Goods and maybe just like have a day. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but anyway, I'll continue to vlog throughout the day because I didn't really do much this last weekend. Um, so anyway, I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Hey guys, I just, um, wanted to show you really fast what I'm doing today. It kind of had to be a little bit quiet because Elvis is sleeping in the living room. Elvis is always sleeping. <laughs> it's okay. I let it slide because, um, he works a lot. <laughs> But I'm underneath my sink right now. I'm trying to grab some um, something that I wanted to show you guys that I'm doing. So I actually forgot that I had these. A Tone It Up friend gave it to me a while ago and said that the first time that she used it, they got pregnant with um, was her daughter. I think it was her daughter. I can't remember. But she said they worked really well. And she gave me all her extras, which is really sweet. But... They're these little ovulation strips. Um, so I have a bunch of them. I've, I'm in that stage right now of could be happening pretty much any day. So that's why I'm kind of going to like um, be testing every day to make sure I don't miss it. I've never, I did this once before, but I only did it like two days. And then I was like, yeah, I don't want to do it anymore. So I'm going to try it like full blown this month. You know, can't hurt. I feel like it's one more thing that I have to do, but still. So I have two, four, six, seven of those. And then I have two of the ones that I bought. These were the ones that I did before. Um, they're just the Up Nut brand at, um, I got it at Target. And I'm not sure, so far it's, been like invalid which basically means that I'm not like I'm just not ovulating that day but it could change within like 24 hours so that's why for 12 hours I think so that's why you need to test every day um I'm not 24 hours I don't know what I'm thinking I'm thinking of testing at night and then in the morning again but that's not what you do you should test at the same time every day which I haven't been doing but I don't know if I'm gonna like it I don't know if I'm gonna like having to do that and feel like that's one more thing that I feel like pressure um but we'll see I um you know it's just like at this point I kind of feel like I I kind of just want to like completely give it up and you know delete my apps and <laughs> stop all this but at the same time I feel like my gosh I need to be a little bit proactive and like Everyone tells you it was when they get pregnant is when they were even trying and they were like not expecting it or you know they gave up trying like the second that they stopped trying they got pregnant so it's like oh my gosh I don't know at this point I'm just kind of like um doing what I kind of feel like I need to do and I feel like that's okay like your your everyone's journey is different there's no right or wrong way to do this um it's very personal it's a very personal journey and I feel like everyone um has a different kind of want and everyone kind of has the same end goal obviously which is to get pregnant to have a baby but getting there is very um much up to the individual and up to the couple I feel like so anyway that's what I'm doing right now and I'll let you guys know I'll keep you guys updated on like if it works um actually ovulating I'll let you guys I'm not I don't know if I'll let you guys know that's kind of weird but <laughs> I'll let you guys know if it was a success of doing it. Not a success. That's even weirder. Um, <laughs> I'll just keep you guys in the loop. <laughs> it mentioned the pumpkin spice coffee, and I don't know if anyone else did, but I got it because... Hello, folks.